Okie dokie, boys and girls. Uh, we're going to do something today that uh, I've been wanting to do for a while because there is no, doesn't seem to be an English video on this particular uh, program. And it's one of the most crucial programs if you're going to build maps. It's one of the most crucial programs that you can have. It's called Spline Street Constructor. Uh, it's made by a gentleman, I guess. He's a gentleman, but uh, uh, anyway, you'll see his name when, when we bring it up. But it's the interface is all in German. All the videos that I've seen uh, are all in either German or Russian, so really that doesn't help the average user. But what we're going to do, this is the, uh, most of you might recognize this is Gold Crest Valley. And uh, I've done some editing to it and added some stuff here and there. But this is the path, the dirt path that runs down from the road over to Pacific Coast Grain. Gold Crest, Gold Crest Pacific Grain, rather. And uh, I like that little path because it's got a lot of different elevation changes and even some side-to-side -side changes. And we'll get to that. Uh, and this is a perfect example of what, how to use this particular program to create a road to go along here that's gonna, that's gonna hug this uh, instantly. Okay, to get started, we need to create a transform group. We can rename that anything. I'm just gonna name it Roadway. And there it is. If you highlight it and look over here, you're going to see that the arrow is pointing that way, the blue arrow. That's not what we want. We want that blue arrow to point the direction of where our roadway starts. And this, again, is crucial, starts. So we're going to leave everything here at zero except for this one going to change it to 90. Now, that, that blue arrow is facing the way our roadway is going to start. So, we got that done. Now, I've created a little marker uh, that uh, I can go here and here. I call it post. And what that is, let's cut that and then paste it in our transform group. And then interactively place it right there at the beginning of our roadway, where we want our roadway to start. Now I can zoom in a little bit here. As you can tell, what this is, is a, just a plane but it's shaped sort of like what our roadway is going to be shaped. Uh, so it gives you a good uh, profile in which to do this stuff in. Now you notice our blue arrow is facing this way. This is crucial. So we bring this here. Kind of drop it down a little bit. Sink it down in the ground. Now where this little point is that's where your roadway is going to start at that point so if you want that to butt up with the road at a certain point like we do you want to come in and boy you, you know if you've worked with Giants editor you know that getting a good solid view is can be tough but that's close enough it's right on I want it right on that 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 uh, rock there Let's bring it up a little bit and it's not going to be crucial at this point but okay now 
there's your first marker let's turn around here and back up now we hit control D and it makes another one drag it out move it slightly and move it around angle it and I think you're going to be if you're smart you're going to be able to figure it out what we're going to do here or how we're doing this here if we're laying out a path and this path is going to be with these markers now spacing I don't really think is that critical but when we have a lot of terrain changes I like to do it fairly short and see as you can tell that's not only elevation change but an incline changes that at that so let's do that and that's kind of why I like this path to demonstrate on let's see it elevation change so we bring that back up we kind of move it around to get it as kind of a level as possible and you'll get an idea about this later and when we make the road you'll get to see how exactly all this plays out and how it all fits together and now I'm going to start just in the essence of time I'm going to start putting them out a little wider here because this road does not have to be perfect it's a basically a test bed uh, just to give you the basics of the program but we're building up to a critical piece of information here because see down there we got a curve that we're going to be going to so let's do this let's control D drag it out here until we see a big elevation change which we did which let's go here move it over here and up oh, we got a big elevation change there for sure okay there's our corner so let's just move this right about there now I'm going to make the, the copy I'm going to drag it over here and over here I'm going to raise it back up and I'm going to zero these out X, Y, and Z rotations and then I'm going to change that to 90 now as you can see our arrow has changed from that way to that way now if you're going around in a circle and you're going to do a to come back you're going to have to put 180 and then on the next curve to, to make it come back to make a loop you're going to have to do 270 while leaving those as close to zero as you can, have, can get but you're just going to be it's your Y rotation that's going to be critical and uh, that's if you want to do a closed loop uh, and that'll come in a different video I guess I'll probably wind up making a closed loop uh, to show you it's really not that hard you just basically bring it around and remember the the rotation which is 0 90 180 270 all positive uh, and then at the very end when you're getting back to where you started and you're kind of you want to make the connection between the last piece and the front piece 
first piece. You, all you do is just highlight your first piece and hit Control D and it'll copy and put it at the end which will close the spline. But we're not going to do that with this one so we're going to get back to there. And uh, But that's how you would close the spline and make a, a closed loop road. Uh, but anyway, that's Quite a bit. Let's go one more elevation change there. Okay. Now we have select all our markers. And you can see they go all the way across. They're all selected in that transform group. Now you go file, export selection. Now I like to keep it in the directory. Uh, where Spline Street Constructor 164 is. And I'll call the, uh, this Splines. I've already got one. Uh, now we go out to Spline Street Constructor. And we open the program. And it is in by TrackMax. That's who created it. Uh, Spline Street Constructor 164. And I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, by TrackMax. As you can tell, it's in German. Uh, I'm going to demystify that for you. I, not that I read German, I use Google Translate. But you want to connect, check these two boxes. Because basically how this is set up is you've got uh, a left, or a left, a middle, and a right when it comes to the road. Uh, if you select that and look at it, uh, there, hold on. Uh, let me. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me go to the parameters. You have to select a parameter, and you want Strasse, which is German for street. Now, if you look at that, that's half and middle, because those are the two sections you've got. You've got the left. You've got the middle. Now, if you check that and then hit copy. Okay, now you've got the full thing. And it looks suspiciously like our, our marker. That's for a reason. It makes it easier to place. But uh, this is the, you've got to hit that, check both of those. When you load the, the parameter, just hit copy, and it'll copy it over. Now, uh, let's see here. This, width of the road seven meters it could be 20 meters it could be 100 meters it's just going to be the width of the actual road surface doesn't affect the right or left at all they're still going to be there uh, these are the texture images they have that comes with it they have uh, one here with grass select it and copy they have one here it says road 51 and what it is it's a basically it's a 1024 by 4096 DDS image I'm gonna have to play with the rest of these and get them in a power of two like that is uh, but for right now we'll just select that now here's your output file name we're gonna select roadway output shape name we're gonna select Roadway 1. And then here is the input file, which is going to be our splines. Now notice we've got 14 markers. Each one of them, the locations for X, Y, and Z, and the rotation are recorded. Because what you've basically done is taken that export that you made and imported it here. And we're going to export it to this here in just a second because I got the one more one more part that's most critical right here this little button here is going to bring up this normally that's going to be five 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 okay and that's basically the minute minimum steps that it's going to segment the roadway 
and it's in degrees and, and that one is in meters. What it was doing on a, on a 90 degree curve, it would chop it up into basic fifths and you had it, re it looked rather shitty for, for lack of a better term. Uh, it wasn't smooth. I dropped those down to one and selected the symmetrical uh, road surface and it worked perfectly. So do this. You only have to do it once and it will it will save and it just saves you a whole lot of heartache. Now, we've got it all set up here. Ready to, ready to rock. Bang. We're done. It's created a roadway. Uh, now, how do you get the roadway in here? You go here, import, roadway one. Now, it's on your map, but it's not where it needs to be. It's got to be inside that transform group, which holds the master coordinates. So you go cut, highlight that transform group, paste, and there's our roadway. Now, as you can tell, it's a little low, and this is another thing that I'm not really sure how to solve uh, off the bat, but what I normally do is just go here, go to Y, and I put in a 0.55. Uh, that seems probably a little high, so 4.8. But as you can see now, our roadway is there. Uh, we've got some dirt in places, but the most part our roadway is there so and forgive me I'm getting hoarse here but select all our markers delete them and let's go look here and say okay well still a little high so let's go 0.47 jinga right about where we wanted nice butt to it and you notice it, it really is hugging the terrain <laughs> as well as the, the incline. So now we need to get rid of the dirt. And like I said, this is going to be uh, quick and dirty. I use, for the most part, leveling. Now, if leveling, for the most part, will get rid of most of it. Sometimes you have to actually remove dirt if the if the terrain on each side is too high, I like to bring it down and just kind of remove and then smooth. Uh, and if, cause if it won't smooth out on its own, that means that it's too high to begin with. So I just kind of do this right down the middle of the road and then just kind of smooth it out. It, uh, and like I said, this is, see, that was way too much. This is going to be up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to, how to make maps. Uh, I'm just showing you how to do a road. Uh, and I didn't want to do that either. I wanted to use the smooth. And let's get rid of any grass. Because we don't want grass growing in our road. And again, it's going to be up to you to put it as close to the road as you want. But right now, just quick and dirty. And voila. We have a roadway that follows the terrain all the way along with a nice 90 degree curve and around and down. Now, you just don't get any easier than that, but we're not done yet because anybody that knows anything about Giants Editor knows that this right here is pointing to the, the texture files are pointing to the wrong freaking directory. And if you tried to save that and put it in the game, this would show up white. And we don't want that. So what we want to do at this point is highlight that and see what this makes. A bunch of spline points. Hence the name 
spline street constructor uh, how it does its magic I don't know but I'm not going to get into that but highlight that and you want to export selection with files different than that one you want it to take the texture files with it and you want to go to where your map is and I normally inside the maps directly put a directory called objects and I already have a road one in there but I'll just overwrite it it's going to ask you if you want that and you can say no because you don't want everything else you just want the files for that mesh uh, now we can delete that and you say oh no our our road is gone but now we go back to import and cut and paste and boom our road is back and you'll notice this time it has the proper directory for the, the graphics files because it moved them over to your maps directory now you can save that map and go play it and that road is going to be there and that's basically all there is to this and I hope that uh, that this is going to help some people I know that when I went out and looked for uh, videos uh, online for this particular tool it wasn't available and I went ahead and uh, took the time to, to, to just bang it out and figure it out trial and error and now you're you're up to snuff on what I know which isn't much but other you know other than I can lay a street I'm gonna be working on some graphics files uh, some texture files for some different road services when I get those done I'll keep those up to date in the group but uh, in the Facebook group uh, which is FS 17 uh, hyphen 19 PC on Facebook if you're not a member come join us uh, but uh, I hope to have everything up there eventually but this is basically how you do it and it saves a just a shitload of time and it makes really nice roadways and that's how these people have made these I guarantee you they use Spline Street Constructor when they made these uh, it's just that easy but anyway I hope that helps and uh, that's really all I got